Matthew 24, 27 For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Revelation 4, 3 And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. Revelation 1, 16 And he had in his right hand seven stars. And out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. Now I'm going to get to my point. A little boy that has prophetic dreams drew this picture that he saw in his dream of Jesus. He said that there were beams coming out of his mouth. If you take a look at all the pictures that I've put up, in most of them there's now beams coming from the sun, for what we think is the sun. You see this one that I just took? Tell me that doesn't look like a two-edged sword. The closer he gets, the more detailed these things are becoming. In Daniel 7, 9, I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. Revelation 1, 7 says, Behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. They also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. So I want to explain to you how this is Ezekiel's vision in chapter 1. Chapter 1, I'm going to start at um, line 14. And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of the flashing lightning. Now as I beheld the living creatures, behold, one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. And you can see there's faces in here. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of beryl, which is the color that you'll see in the wheel that I'll show you. And they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. So when they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not when they went. As for the rings, they were so high that they were dreadful, and their rings were full of eyes round about them four. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went. Thither was their spirit to go, and the wheels were lifted up over against them. For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. Notice how there's four sides, and the picture I was just showing you had the faces on the top of the sun. And the four sides, you know, depending on where you're at on the earth, you, you see different parts, so you just probably can't see all of them at once. But they're there. And I'm going to start explaining to you as the pictures go by. Um, this right here, that's the the fi multiple faces. See, it's really hard to see because everything is in the spirit. In Revelation 4, 3, it describes how he went into the spirit. And I, and I immediately was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, and in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. Now those are the people in spirit. The elders are in spirit. So this is his rainbow wrapped around his throne. He has replaced the sun. Or he is in front of it. I just know that these are signs from God. But nobody knows because they don't look at the sun. And they're trying to cover it with those chemtrails. Now look, those diamonds are the eyes round about. And this is just another example. Those, those things sticking way out, those beams... Those are the spokes of the wheel. See, on the left side, you can see part of the wheel. But because we're not in spirit, a lot of people can't see it. And it's the way the sun is reflecting through it. See, there's a face of a man. And that's in the wheel. I just put a filter on it so you can see it. So you can see the wheel on the left and the, the eyes roundabout on the right, surrounding the sun. Now, that's a wheel within a wheel. You see how there's two lines instead of one? 
So if you go out into space, you, you could see this quite a bit, but how it said that the wheel was touching the ground where the living creatures are, where we are. See, that's a better one with the eyes round about. You have to be in the right position to be able to see it. And depending on where you are on the planet, you can only see it from a certain angle. And we just happen to be able to see it really good in Jacksonville if the clouds aren't covering it. So I keep monitoring it. And it has changed. It's not, it doesn't look like the same rainbow wrapped sun. This looks more like Ezekiel's vision. But like I said, it depends on where you're looking at it from. And it has rainbows shooting out of it and everything. And there's never any clouds when I see that rainbow. And those are like the, the stones. They're the different colors of the stones. The emerald is green. The stone of beryl, like the color of the wheel, that's the color he was describing. I have one of my other videos that says Ezekiel's vision, uh, a picture of the stone. I think it was the first one. It's just coming up again now. That's one of the better pictures because it's high up on a mountain. You can see it looks like a wheel. And there's another couple pictures of the sun wrapped in the rainbow. A lot of my um, past videos, it looked like there was clouds going into the sun. Now, most, a lot of my pictures today or yesterday, the past few days, it looked like the sun is actually in the clouds. Now, if you read Revelation 3.16, So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Are you starting to see the puzzle pieces fit together here? It says every eye shall see him. Does it say that every eye shall know that it's him when they do see him? How many people out there see the sun every day? So come on, you think this is normal? You see the diamonds shapes coming out of the sun? Those aren't lens flares. Come on, you see that rainbow at the top? That's been following the sun since I've been following by taking pictures of the sun. You don't just have a rainbow projected out of the sun that follows it around. That's not how rainbows usually are. These are signs from God. Ezekiel 128, as the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, it fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake. My conclusion is that either Jesus is in his throne or up there in front of the sun, which would make sense why everything's being projected down at us, or the sun is gone and he's up there. And we all think it's the sun, but it's really him. Up there in his throne or something. So you have to think of this spiritually. They're being shown these visions and they have to describe it to us. So what they're describing is not what people are expecting to see. And I'm seeing it all right here, just in a different form or in a spiritual form. Also, when they saw these visions, they were seeing them from what their perspective would be up in space or heaven. Revelation 4, 1 through 3. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. Because heaven, one of the heavens, is the firmament in between the waters. Which is where you would find the sun. Ezekiel 117 says, When they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not when they went. Well, I have seen faces and animals in these projections when I first started. Um, there's been a lot of clouds since then, I think, because they're, they're trying to hide the signs with these chemtrails. But it's describing it, and what I'm thinking is, if all this is right, um, the sun goes up and down, you know, in the same place every day. And in each place, they have the same signs in the sun each day. So it's almost like, depending on what spot you are on Earth, you're going to see the same signs because it's going up and over, and it's not turning from which way it's going. So right here you can see that this that part of Ezekiel's vision, okay? He said it's a wheel within a wheel. You can see that the giant beams coming out of the sun, that would be the spokes. And you see right here how it looks like two lines, but it depends on what angle you're at, that can look like two wheels. 
The Lord's been showing me these things every day ever since I started looking because I'm looking. Do you see this? This picture? That I was staring at that one day because I saw over Stromboli Volcano these rays were coming out of the sun and it started sparkling. So I kept looking at it because it started sparkling and this little angel figure started coming down in the beam. And then it went back up. So he knows when you're watching for him. And he shows you things if you're looking for them. Like this picture right here. If you can't see the figures in this, you need to get your eyes checked. Because obviously, that looks like a giant hand with Jesus standing on it. An angel looking up at him with a dove in between them. And this is not altered in any way. I took this picture out of an observatory. And he showed me this when I first started looking so that he could tell me to keep looking. Because I was looking in the right place. And that's not the only thing he showed me. That's just one of the one of the awesome things he showed me. I didn't know it growing up, but he was preparing me for this my whole life. Because he's been showing me things and then they come to pass. And I wouldn't believe what's happening now as much as I do if I hadn't seen so much, including the rapture. What do you see here in this picture? Now what do you see? In case you don't see what I see, it looks like Jesus laying there with the crown of thorns on his head and some people looking over him. These are things that are projecting out of the sun because he said, look for the signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. And that doesn't mean just in space. It means that anyone could see them if they're looking for them. And he knew that we would have cameras. So just because you can't look at the sun doesn't mean that that's not what he meant. And you'll see these things in the backgrounds on TV because they want you to think that it's normal. So all I'm saying is you need to look up, pay attention, start looking at these sky cams. I put the links down below so that people will go look at the, for them for themselves. Because Jesus wants you to be watching for him. He told us to be watching for him. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Luke 21:25. And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Ezekiel 33.6 But if the watchmen see the sword come, and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come, and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Don't forget, we are all the watchmen. God bless.